Well, after all these many years, you know what? I got nothing but good things to say about Jay Cutler, the Chicago Bears, and uh, the coaching staff, John Fox, who at 4-5 and five right now might be up for coach of the year. I don't know if Belichick could do this, you know, because he wouldn't have Brady. Hey, Adam Gase. Enjoy Adam Gase while he's here. And look out because the Lions may go after him. But John Fox, you know, when they gave him the $4 million a year, I said, whoa. But guess what? Sometimes it's worth it. We're seeing a lot of the young talent come to fruition. And you know what? If you're Ryan Pace, I don't care. you got to have guys that coach these talents up. And maybe he throws away the past and just starts scratch from all these players. Shane McClellan looked like he should be out of the league, but maybe it was the coaching that made him look that way. Going to the 3 4 has been good. Vic Fangio doing a great job defensively. You know, I mean, there's just a few things they got to shore up. Special teams, I don't have time to get into that. But they need to shore that up as far as the return man maybe and a couple other things. But offensively, they look okay. Defensively, they've been a shocking surprise. Now we got Denver with Brock Osweiler. That's a win. Then we got Green Bay with the great Aaron Rodgers. Thanksgiving, Turkey going to be good. And then who knows what's going to happen. I don't think anybody's out of it. The Bears are two games out of what? Out of the race? And then you got Minnesota leading right now? Hey, there's a lot of games left to be played. Who thought we'd even be discussing this? And don't say I'm crazy because after they were all in three, I was saying to myself, man, we're in trouble. We might win one or two, and I think a lot of you did the same. Mike North, the Daily Arrow, the Rebel Inside. Congrats, Bears.